Okay, we've got our basic. We don't even know what model this is, do we? It's like it's just not. It's just not a model. It's not even an S or a, so. It's not a wild track. But I managed to find on eBay this steering wheel. So we're gonna have a go at changing the steering wheel. So my steering wheel hasn't got any controls. This one's got like a million. I think I could fly a spaceship off the number of controls this has got. My goodness me. But I don't know if it'll work. I don't know whether they. A lot of these switches go off CAN bus, and I don't know if the connections are there because. This connection's got a lot, but we'll have a look. It's got a whole load of the connections in the back of that, look. So we'll have a go at removing the airbag. Useful if you wanna change the steering wheel, even if you, this one's also gone a bit little sort of scabby, hasn't it? It's all gone a bit sort of crusty. Looks like the surface of the moon there. So we're gonna have a look, look at fitting this one. Um, so it looks like it's got a couple of hooks here that I think a little wire's gonna tuck behind. And it looks like we've got these little holes here. Can you see those? Um, and one on each side. So what I'm going to do is oh, what, right, disconnect your battery first. That's why I've got the 10 millimeter spanner in my hand. We've just disconnected the battery. Tuck it out of the way because you don't want the airbag going off. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put that in the little hole there. A little slot. And what that's going to do is that's going to come inside here. Whoop, and hopefully push on the wire that's running down here. And I should feel it spring against it. And hopefully it will release it and release the airbag so now that's that's your best demo if we go here you're not really going to see a lot because i'm around the wrong side so let's have a look mine doesn't look like it's ever been off before because it's they the hole hasn't been pushed through and i'm gonna have a feel and see what i can let's see if i can feel a oh yeah i feel a springy wire if you feel a springy wire you're in Sometimes you got to try both no, sides, haven't you? Right, Sometimes it doesn't feel like the first side's released because the, the other side's still slot. holding it. You might have to just... Is that in the right place? Yeah, that looks right. That's a little bit better. Yeah. That one went through a little easier than that one's going. That's it, he's through. Right, and then I'm just trying to feel that springy poke around until I can find the... Do you need to go back to the other side? Yeah, too. go back. Get my grip back on this side. Right, we'll have a rummage around for a bit. And so you got to try and work out whether you need the screwdriver forward or backwards and up or down. As long as you're feeling the springy bit, which I definitely was before. Oh, there it is. Yeah, you can hear it. A bit. But you sort of slip off it because it's round there. going okay after much messing about we um, we've come up with a design of sorts and we've actually taken a little notch you could do it a little bit squarer than that if you can and what that does is as you put it in this way it allows you to get push on it but be underneath it as well it seems to stop it I'll show you when we get the airbag out and um, that seemed to work better but then once you release it these did pop out the top but the bottom is really tight and you've really got a wrestle it at the bottom i'll show you why so it's got this sort of it's got these three sort of spring loaded plungers but they sit into you shine the light around here a bit in uh, sit into that in. into that bottom molding so they're quite tight in that bottom molding right let's have a look then in shall we so we've got we've got all that off right and, and where you're going in you're going in through this little gap here and by having this the screwdriver like that it gets in on that cable there and pushes it like so which releases it off the hook but just by having a rather than having it flat having something to get in seemed to help a bit right hope that's helped you right now we've got to get the airbag off back on track so they have a little they normally have a little squeeze there squeeze, yeah, squeeze, squeeze those, those gray, two. Bits. gray bits yeah that feels good 
those grey bits there. Give those a squeeze and then that's it, yeah. So just those little grey ears in there. Can you see that? You've got to press yeah. both of those. Right. What have we got next here? We've got, we got an earth, have we? Yep. Yeah. Let's right get there. that earth off. I'm using my handy screwdriver. There you go. Yeah. Oh, what have we got going up there? That'll be the horn, won't it? Yeah, that'll be the horn pull. So, on ours, it seems this uninsulated one is the airbag earth. Yeah. And this one with heat shrink around it. And the one that's more covered up seems to be the airbag that goes on that. Yeah, but how, metal loop. how does that one come off Ian? It looks like a normal spade, doesn't it? Yeah, it should just be a normal spade. That's it, yeah. Okay, so there are different sizes if you look at them as well. Oh, so the big, one's small. big one is the centre airbag, that one's the horn ring. So I think, yeah, that makes this, this contact around here for the horn, I'm guessing. Right, so that's the airbag, so that should be the same. Right, now if you look at this connector here, it's only got two wires going into it. Now the interesting thing is going to be the slip ring or looking at this mating one and see whether it's got the things in there. Let me have that light here Ian, it might have a bit more. That's a bit too bright that Oh, is. that's too bright, oh, is it? Well, it might adjust. Yes, sir, right. we can see from here. Right then. Okay, so if I just press the top down there, can I, can I unplug? How does that look? down. Yeah. That's it, yeah. yeah. Right, so that's only using the two, which are obviously the horn. But it looks like we've got a row of populated pins in there. You probably can't see that, Ian. Can you see there for, with the light you've got in the middle there? There's, there is actually pins more than is populated here. So the slip ring may be okay. Right. So we might get some functions, but not yeah. all functions because because of our right, let's, let's million button steering wheel. In the middle of. What size are we going for? I'm going for 22. Oh, and he's wrong. Right, I've got a 24mm socket. It, you haven't got a lot to go on there. Um, so let's have a go and see if that'll... Uh, hopefully the steering... Oh, actually, that's not tight at all. Mm. Right. right, what's that nut look like? Has it got a washer? What's the story? Right, so we've got a... We've got a washer there, but he's captive. You can't lose him. He's got some Loctite on there. That's the badger there. Right, and then, just, right. These hex wheels are nicer. You then, not, yeah, big, you haven't got that. Oh, is he big, straight? You haven't got that big jerk of getting it off the splines, have you? Right, don't go messing with this slip ring too much. You can spin him round, but you don't know how many turns he is, so leave him where he is. Um, because otherwise... There is a limited amount of turns yeah, left to right. Yeah, three left or three right or whatever. And yeah, if you start playing with it and getting all excited. And let me just show you the, the, the pins in there. I'm a bit worried you can't see with that light. But there you go. You got you can see all the pins I've got here. So hopefully that slip ring's populated. It's only using two. Um, so I'm going to put the new wheel on and see if we're in. All right. Oh, I'm dropping everything. All right then. Here we go. So thank you, Ian. Right, let's... So let's thread that up through there. I just come up through the middle, doesn't it? Alright. That should be off to one side. Yeah. That should. The slip ring wants to be round. It's not dead square. Dead it's not square. like 12 o'clock. It's. Right. I think it was off a little bit. Something like that. Work. Right. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah, that looks alright. I see what you mean. You want to put it central, but it's got to make room for this other wire. So that slip ring main switch block is set over to the left. Okay. Well, let's tighten that up. Keep, keep everything out of the way. So even if the switches don't work, I'm still happy with all the... It's just a nicer leather steering wheel, isn't it? Okay. Right. Airbag. Yeah, don't play with airbags, by the way. Don't give them to the kids to play with. That would be a bad idea. Reconnect your main block first, I reckon. Right, let's have a look. 
Do do it. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, you're a step ahead of me. Yeah. Getting all distracted next, aren't right, you? Yeah. Ah, is it a different? Is it a different format plug? Oh, a foiled look. That one. That other one on the other steering wheel. Let's get this up and have a little look. See, all right? This is a different plug. Can I get these in? In some sort of proximity to each other. What I'm going to do, I'll undo, the, I'll undo this on here and then I'll show you that they're a different plug. And we're going to have to go and find, uh, we're going to have to change that slip ring for a different slip ring. So you can see there the two, I've just unscrewed this on the steering wheel. So you've got two different types of slip ring there with two different formats of connectors. Um, now if you wanted to just put this steering wheel on, I could undo that little screw there, bolt that in, connect those to the horn push either remove or tuck this one out the way, plug that in there, and I would be a way to go. I would have a horn, which was all I had before, um, but I'll do another video where I get the, the different slip ring. We'll have a look now for the different slip ring with the different format connector, and see if we plug the different slip ring in, whether anything works. Okay, another problem we got is actually, it is fouling on that rear, thing there so we might have to change the cowl in it it's clearly not so simple a job to upgrade your Ford Ranger steering wheel as first we thought I'll have a look at the back of the steering wheels it were halfway there um, but at least you can see how to change your steering wheel remove your airbag if you want to take your column apart or do something so hopefully that'll help some people okay so right we're investigating even more so if I put the steering wheels back to back you can see there clearly the boss on this older one sticks out further than the boss on the newer one. And also the old one has got this extra, what are we calling that, sort of dog leg that sticks out that engages with the slip ring actually. Um, and the newer one doesn't have any such thing. Um, it's just completely round. So at least we can look for the right and upgraded leather one. And one last thing, the airbag look the same, the mounting holes all look the same, the steering wheel casting looks the same. But you can see that one fits, the old steering wheel fits the original wheel. But look, on the new wheel it's a slightly different shape. It looked nearly the same. But you can see around the top here, this one's curved, that, that one must be quite square at the top. So, failure in terms of fitting the latest steering wheel. But at least, hopefully, that helps people if they're looking at changing steering wheels. It, it looks trickier.